This video is for first grade lesson 4, and I'll be going over each of the sections solving some of the problems to help you understand how to solve problems in this worksheet. The first section is about value, and below that it says write the numbers and correct value. So looking at number 1, it says 3 tens and 8 ones. And what we have to do is write them in number form, which is a standard form. So 3 tens meaning that, that it's 30 and 8 1 means 8. So we will basically have to add them together which would lead to 38. Looking at number 3, it says 0 tens and 6 ones. So it will be just 0 and 6 which means the answer is 6. Looking at number 8, it says 7 hundreds 3 tenths and 4 ones, so that means there are 730 and 4. And when we add all of them together, we have 734. Moving on to the second part of this first section, we have the direction saying write the, write the correct value of the highlighted number. And I will start off with number 1. Number 1 says 32 and the highlighted part is 2 which is in the ones place so the value for it will be just 2 looking at number 4 we have 152 and the highlighted number is 1 which is in the hundreds place so we would have to write 100 as the answer lastly looking at number 13 it says 321, and the highlighted part is on the 2, which is in tens place. So we would have to write 20 as the answer for number 13. Moving on to the next section, we have addition and subtraction. And I will just do the first problem, which is 3 plus 2. Using this box, we would do addition problem. And it will be 3 plus 2 and when we count all of them we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so we know that the answer for number 1 is 5 below that for number 5 we have 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 and when we do that we can try doing three circles and then we subtract two of them and only this one is left. So the answer is one. Looking at number 10, we have 12 plus 40. Let's write that in vertical form so it's easier for us to solve. 12 plus 40. Let's add from the ones place first. 2 plus 0 is 2, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So the answer for number 10 will be 52. Let's look at one more problem, which is 13. 13 says 71 plus 8. We will also write that in vertical form, 78 plus 8. Starting off with the ones place, 8 plus 1 is 9, and 7 plus nothing is equal to 7. So the answer for 13 will be 79. Let's move on to the next section, which is about time. So for number 1, I'll do just a few of them. The outside part will be hour, and the inside part will be for a minute. So, starting off with number 1, we will do like 1, 2, 3, and then all the way until 12, which is right here. And inside is minute, so we will start by 5 and count 5 steps forward each time. So it will be 5, 10, 15, and so on until you get to 60. And you would have to fill out the rest of the boxes. Let's try number 2. 
Number two says it has the shorter line on the four and the longer line on the twelve. The shorter one is for hour and the longer one is for minute. Let's look at the shorter one, which is hour. It's on the four, so we know that it's for something. And when the longer line is on the 12, we see that it's 60, or it could be also 00. zero. So we know that the answer for number two will be four o'clock. And that's how you would do for the rest of the three, four, and five. Now let's move on to the last section, which is work problems, and I will just do number one. Students brought 12 and 20 chairs into the new classroom. Soon they realized that they need, need a few more chairs, so they brought in 12 more chairs. How many chairs are there in total? So there were 20 chairs to begin with, and they realized that they needed a few more chairs, so they brought in 12 more chairs, so we would have to add 20 and 12. Let's start by adding the ones placed together. So 0 plus 2 will be 2 and 2 plus 1 will be 3. So there are 32 chairs in total. 